Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come up with a very amazing problem. It's a mixture of uh, electrostatics and uh, uh, thermodynamics. So guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together and name of this problem is Capacitor and Gas in Equilibrium. Guys, my current courses on Unacademy are course of Iron Pitcher Foundation and uh, for J Advanced 2023. In this batch, uh, circular motion and uh, work power energy will be starting from first week of July and uh, there is emerge batch for J 2023 in this batch we will be starting kinematics for J advanced 2023 and uh, advanced problem solving course for uh, J advanced 2023 is currently going on and there is another course uh, for J 2022 in Hindi it is uh, Aram batch and uh, we have just uh, about to finish uh, current electricity and magnetism will be the next topic uh, which will be starting in uh, this batch and uh, another course on rotational mechanics is uh, already going on uh, so this batch started on uh, first week of june you can access my theory courses of last year which are uh, of advanced plus plus levels for boosting your j preparation you can unlock these courses on an academy using my code nathan sir and uh, for more info you can visit www.unacademy.com and guys trust me physics will never be the same again uh, so here is the statement of uh, this problem uh, an ideal gas having f degrees of freedom is kept inside a thermally insulated vessel the vessel has two large pistons each with charge of uh, plus q and minus q uh, assume the charges are uniformly distributed piston can move without friction inside the vessel at an instant the charge of uh, piston is increased k times with the help of an external agent so suddenly we are increasing this charge to k times kq and minus qq then they are asking us uh, find the ratio of final to initial uh, temperature of the gas in equilibrium also calculate the work done by the agent in the process so uh, here uh, we can see as we will increase the charges the attraction force between the plates will increase and gas will get uh, compressed uh, all right so concept part of this problem you can see in equilibrium forces will be balanced on piston and uh, since system is thermally insulated therefore total energy of uh, this gas will be conserved or total energy of the system must be conserved so we are going to divide this uh, problem in three stages this is the initial stage stage one i'm calling it charge is plus q and minus q and let's say initial distance uh, between the pistons is l1 and temperature of the gas at this moment is t1 so i can balance the forces first is pv equal to nrt i can apply and here electric force will must be balancing the pressure force of the gas so i can just write q square by 2 epsilon naught is equal to uh, p1 into a and i can substitute this p1 into a value directly from here which is nrt1 by l1 this is the stage one and uh, uh, there, there are very high chances that you might make a mistake while conserving uh, energy in this uh, problem because uh, normally we are habitual of writing uh, e initial equal to e final but there is a catch here the very next moment when suddenly this uh, charge has been increased k times so the system will be in this situation now i am calling this as stage 2 suddenly this charge has become kq and this charge has become minus kq here and uh, still this distance is l1 and temperature of the gas did not change it is t1 only after this what is going to happen due to the attraction this gas will compress because it is not in equilibrium at, at this moment now uh, stage uh, there is another uh, uh, stage 3 finally i'll say the new distance has come l2 and temperature has changed to uh, t2 and of course this l2 is going to be less than l1 and this charge has become k times of this actually this charge i should have written it as kq all right this charge is kq now plus kq and uh, this charge is uh, minus kq here i hope this part is uh, clear to you so this is not uh, q and minus q it is uh, instead uh, plus kq and minus kq 
all right now system is in equilibrium here so i can balance the forces one more time and finally also pv is equal to nrt will be uh, uh, we can apply and uh, this new force q square by 2 epsilon not must balance the pressure force so again we are getting this nrt2 by l2 now we can apply energy conservation between stage 2 and 3 but we cannot apply energy equation uh, uh, between stage 1 and stage 2 because uh, while increasing the charge from Q to KQ uh, one external agent was involved so we must include uh, work done by external agent so U initial, U initial plus W agent is equal to energy in stage 2 this will be the correct way of uh, approaching this problem so that's what i have written here energy of the system will be conserved between stage 2 and 3 and not with the stage 1 that is what the normally mistake will uh, be done by the students they will apply directly between stage 1 and stage 3 all right so now if i uh, apply this initial energy and final energy you can uh, see here uh, that energy density formula i can use energy stored in unit volume is half epsilon naught e square multiplied by the volume so that will be the electrical potential energy and this is the internal energy of the gas i can write f by 2 nrt ncvdt ncvt similarly here i can write finally uh, electrical potential energy stored in the final configuration and this is the internal energy of the gas and this must be equal so you can see here half epsilon naught e square a l actually when i substitute the value here q square by a square epsilon naught square when i simplify this this becomes q square l by 2 epsilon naught and this will get directly replaced you can see here uh, when I apply this between stage 2 and stage 3, uh, the charge is uh, KQ, so K square Q square L1 by 2 epsilon naught, F by 2 NRT1 and this will become KQ square K square Q square L2 by 2 epsilon naught plus F by 2 NRT which is internal energy. So uh, from this uh, I can write here, you can see K, uh, Q square L square, uh, sorry, Q square L1 by 2 epsilon naught is nrt1 so this is what i am going to replace here q square l1 by 2 epsilon naught this is nrt1 and uh, finally this is going to be uh, q square l2 here i can write q square l2 by 2 epsilon naught that is nrt2 by k here by k should come or k square q square i can uh, write here all right there is one term i have missed so when you substitute the values you can uh, just see here this will become k square nrt1 k square nrt1 and this is f by 2 nrt1 and this will become nrt2 and uh, internal energy of the gas is f by 2 nrt2 when i simplify this and uh, i'm going to get this t2 by t1 as 2k q square 2k square plus f divided by 2 plus f this is going to be the final answer for this problem for temperature ratio and uh, w agent is actually the energy difference between a stage 1 and 2 so e2 minus e1 directly i can write and you can uh, see here uh, this is nothing but uh, uh, electrical potential energy only we have to take internal energy will be same between stage 1 and stage 2 and this value q square l1 by 2 epsilon naught we have uh, seen here it is nrt1 uh, so i can write uh, this w agent as this will become k square minus 1 times nrt1 so if initial temperature is given we can write w agent or initial separation will be given to us so this is how w agent will be calculated i hope you have enjoyed this problem it's quite a tricky problem and uh, there are uh, very high chances that you might make mistake while uh, writing the energy equation so that's it in this video if you have enjoyed it please uh, like this video share this video with others and uh, uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe it. I'll be coming up with another amazing problem very soon. Thank you. Thanks for watching it.